looking at my mount of Bulbophil macrantum. And I don't like what this plant is doing. I got this plant as a small seedling from clouds. And I didn't have much experience with Bulbophilums and this particular species. So I gave it a big piece of cork bark to reside. And I put it at the bottom, hoping that it will eventually fill up all this piece of bark and become a nice specimen plant. But here's what it did. It grew in one straight line through the cork. And now the plant is in the middle and the rest of the cork bark is empty and now the uh, growing point has nowhere else to go. So basically this part of cork bark and this bottom part of cork bark is absolutely unused. At other boba films, for example this Eberhardtii, you see the bulb grows new leads into every different directions. So basically this piece of bark eventually hopefully will be covered with the uh, new bulbs. But some other bulbophilums like my macranto grow in one line. Uh, here's Another example of Bulbophyllum that probably will grow in one line. This is Bulbophyllum lastanotum that I got from Resketzel. But this one has a long way to go, so it will be probably okay for another few years on this piece of wood. So I don't worry about this one so much. But this Macrantum mount I don't like it. I don't like that now the plant has to grow off the mound and all the other cork bark is empty. I feel like I need to do something about it. So I've decided to look at all possible options that I can provide this plant with. And the first option would be, of course, to leave it as is and let this new lead to grow further and hang off the mount, which is not good because the mount is hanging, so it will be basically stuck to a wall, which I don't like. So it is an option, but not really a good option. Second option is to rip it off the uh, this mount and uh, take it apart and put it on the new mount. I have I have a bunch of cork bark pieces there. And so if I will break it apart, it will provide probably several leads that might make the uh, growing of this plant bushier. That's what I did with my Cattleya. It was growing in one line. So I cut it in half and now each of those halves produced new leads. So I assume the same will happen to this bulba film. But the idea of ripping it off this mount, I don't like that idea much because I will disturb the roots. And it does not have big roots, but still they will be damaged. See, it produces this little short roots, but short but many. So I don't really want to rip it off and they are growing into a bark because I don't even have the fishing line anymore because it's, uh, it's holding on its own on this wood. So the second option of taking it off, 
the mount. I don't like that option either. The next option that I came up with is to take this plant and cut out, cut it in half, like here for example, and then cut out this piece of bark so the roots are still attached to it, but the piece of bark is smaller. Like for example, this piece of bark and make another piece of bark and put both pieces into well, probably the bigger pot, this wide pot. Basically put those bark pieces inside of pot, arrange them, maybe add some medium and have it potted. Of course, I need to clean this pot. It's not clean, but that's the one bell shape that has a pretty wide top. So it should be able to accommodate maybe those two pieces of bark. And then this plant will become potted. And the last option is basically same as the previous one. So cut plant in half, cut pieces of bark to keep the roots and then arrange those pieces of bark in the basket. And then hopefully plant will continue to go on the basket walls, maybe. And it will still be like mounted, not potted. Because it's not in the pot. And there's another option actually that I just thought of. Cut out again the pieces of bark and attach it to, to a new bigger piece. And see what's going to happen. So those are options that I can do for this plant, but I'm not sure which one I should choose. So if anybody out there has suggestions or opinions why I should or I should not choose any of those options, or maybe there's yet another option that I didn't say that would fit this plant please let me know I'm uh, kind of leaning towards basket option because I got used to have my bulbophyllums mounted not potted but maybe there's something I don't know about this that would make it unsuitable. So please let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.